when it comes to an easy snack or an appetizer to get the dinner party started i am all in for these polenta chips hey guys it's marlene here with savory thoughts at savorythoughts.com so if you are new here we share anything and everything food and kitchen related to make these polenta chips you want to start off with lining your sheet pan and set it aside in a medium-sized saucepan go ahead and add in two cups of water add in your salt to taste Add one and a half teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. Add in one tablespoon of grapeseed oil or olive oil. And go ahead and stir it just to mix everything together. Now, while your water is boiling, go ahead and add in one cup of cornmeal or polenta, depending on the brand that you get. I definitely recommend that you wash your polenta or your cornmeal thoroughly just so that you can remove the starch. And also remember that before these foods are um, properly packaged they were also handled by other hands so just to be safe go ahead and wash your polenta and for this I like to use a sieve that way it limits the possibilities of me losing some of these ingredients so once you're done add your polenta to the boiling water and continue to stir so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan now remember polenta or maimole cooks quickly so you want to make sure because it's basically cooking grits right so you want to make sure that you continue to stir it because it will stick to the bottom of the pan and it will make it hard for you to fully enjoy your meal um and it can also burn it if you're not careful so it does thicken fast and it also splashes so be careful while you are cooking it so you do not burn yourself and once it starts to thicken and go ahead and add in a fourth cup of parmesan cheese continue to stir until all of the ingredients are completely incorporated once you're done if your polenta is a little bit too thick for you you can also add an extra fourth cup of water or you can leave it as is and spread it in your line cookie sheet when you're spreading your polenta around be sure to do so while it is completely hot because it makes it a lot easier for you to make uh, for you to spread it and also it doesn't break apart so and it also allows you to have an even coat so i am using the wooden spoon however i did have to change over to a spatula because it it makes it made it a lot easier the flat surface just made it a lot easier for me to spread it around and i also found that the polenta was actually sticking to the wooden spoon so i did my best to flatten it as much as i could however the thickness is completely up to you i just prefer it to be a little bit flat but you can definitely make your chips a little bit thicker if you prefer so once you're done go ahead and place your polenta in the refrigerator for it to completely chill and set meanwhile go ahead and preheat your oven to 430 degrees while your oven is heating up go ahead and cut your polenta into fries once you're done cutting them into fries go ahead and brush them with olive oil or grapeseed oil and transfer them into a baking tray and place them in the oven and bake for 30 minutes at 430 degrees now while your chips are baking go ahead and make the mascarpone dip go ahead and start by whisking half a cup of heavy whipped cream and go ahead and whisk it until nice and fluffy Next, add in a fourth cup of the mascarpone cheese, followed by one teaspoon of parsley flakes, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a dash of salt or to taste, and juice from half a lemon. Continue to whisk until well incorporated. Then add a third cup of either whole milk or almond milk. Now, at this point, you want to continue to whisk it, but you do not want it to thicken up. You just want it to be nice and creamy. At this time, you can go ahead and stir it around just to help you, or you can continue to whisk it until nice and creamy and all the ingredients are incorporated. Now, once you're done, go ahead and refrigerate it until you are ready to use it. And that's it. So your polenta chips are ready to be served and enjoy. Guys, again, the full recipe is on our website at savorythoughts.com. And if you are new here, thank you so much for watching and we would love for you to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos we will see you in the next video cheers